All right, so this is the second time that I'll be using this trailer to tow my car. Previously, I've just driven my car to the track, but since uh, it's gone full race car with a cage and everything, that's not really working anymore. But I've encountered a problem. I drove it to, or I towed the car to this last event, no problem. Then I built a splitter and the splitter makes it much lower as uh, I'm sure you're aware. Here's what I'm dealing with. Got my box trailer. It does have a dovetail back here, but hooked up to my truck and leveled, it's way too high of an approach angle. You wouldn't think so, but it still is. So rather than buying some rather spendy race ramps, I'm gonna see if I can't make something, at least for the interim before race ramps don't feel so spendy. To do so, I'm gonna go two ways here. I'm gonna try to lower the rear hinge of the trailer by raising the truck. This is something that's fairly common in the RV community. Drive up the rear tires onto a set of ramps. So I'll have a small set of ramps on the truck and a small set of ramps on the trailer instead of by the math of race ramps. I believe the numbers came out to like 132 inch long ramps. That's, that's just not gonna make a lot of sense. So if I can split the difference between the two, I think it'll work a lot better. I started by breaking down some 2x12 material that I had from a previous project, my ramps for the scissor lift. I'm breaking this down to be able to make my 36 inch ramps for the truck and the remaining material will be used to make the ramps at the back of the trailer. Okay, so here's what I came up with for the truck side of the equation. By bringing the truck up four and a half inches or three pieces of 2x material, it's going to lower the trailer hinge point three inches down to 11 inches. That's gonna lower the pivot angle of the trailer from 7.9 degrees down to 5.95. So two degrees essentially. And then by bringing the front of the trailer ramp up uh, the other distance or the remainder from what I'm not gonna bring on the truck, I'm gonna bring it up into the three degree range, which will be ideal for loading in most circumstances. So what I've got here is a 36 inch base piece and then I'm stepping it up with some 3 8 plywood stacked and then I beveled the corners and this piece that I already put together and just ran over it really quick with a sander so I'm not getting poked left and right by um, splinters. So let's put this together and then we'll work on the ramps for the trailer side. These 2x12s that I'm using are from a ramp for my um, scissor lift and they are bowed quite heavily. So in order to get this glue not to slip all over, I'm gonna put a little fairy dust or sand in the glue. Salt is probably more ideal and uniform, but this is not a fine project that I'm dealing with. And then after I clamp it down, the uh, Sand will help to keep the things rigid or sticky so that the glue doesn't slide all over the place. I'm gonna try to flatten this board out a little. So to mount down my plywood baby steps, I'm gonna use a little bit more glue and some brad nails. Uh, 
that's what it looks like when you run out of nails. Putting it in two pieces like this, these two can slide together. Then I have a nice gradual step up. The ramp door flap will land right there and the ramp itself or the ramp door will stop right there and everything will be held in place. Here are the ramps for the truck and for the trailer, at least the trailer door. Let's go see if we can't get these going and get that car in the trailer. So both sets of ramps are the same length. They're set up, so I just roll it in up to the tire and run around and throw the other side on. And then the truck will roll up and stop at that block, hopefully without falling off the other side. With the truck up on the blocks, it's elevated four and a half inches. That lifts the tongue. See if you can tell, it tilts the whole trailer down and drops the back of the trailer three inches. Obviously it's less than the truck because of the pivot point, but by lowering the back of the trailer, now my ramp door is gonna be at less of a steep angle. everything modular so that I don't have to measure anything is really the way to go. These stops line up on the trailer frame right there. The flap door lines up right here and then the pins line up in this side of the ramp. So I can go straight in. Now that I can get the car in the trailer, it's time to head off to my next autocross event. I hope that this was somehow helpful to you. Maybe it provides you with an idea how you might build your own ramps or make smaller ramps in two different places like I did. Uh, take a look at how I built the splitter up here, or you can take a look once I upload the footage of this next autocross event up over here. Thanks for watching. See you next time.